ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the West, clashes between cattlemen and homesteaders over the rich prairie lands frequently led to bitter range wars. It was in the spring of 1863 that such a war seemed imminent in Sunset Valley. Armed cattlemen stood guard at Devil's Pass to see that no new settlers arrived to swell the ranks of those already there. It was inevitable that tales of the violence and fear in Sunset Valley should come to the attention of the Lone Ranger and Tonto. It looks as though the things we've heard about the valley are true, Tonto. Why our friend Sheriff Wilson not keep order here? I don't know. I'm going into town and find out. Can we try to get through past Kimisabi? Now we'd better cross the ridge further down. We'll pitch camp in the woods north of Seatonville. Ah. See anything just then? Like what? Like a white horse moving along that ridge. Ben, my boy, you've been on guard too long. Well, I could have sworn I... Well, maybe you're right. Bad enough when people come to nest in our land, but when white horses start homesteading, we're really in trouble. Sometimes, Chick, I wonder if you take this serious enough. Look at that valley. If these nesters have their way, there won't be a foot of grazing land left. I know, it's serious. That's why this election next week's so important. Now that Sheriff Wilson's dead, we gotta get in a man we know is on our side. Man like Slim Gordon. This is Gordon. You've known him longer than I have. Is he a good man? Well, he's a better choice than Ross, that fool of a deputy that's being backed by Jeff Seaton and the homesteaders. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Why? Here comes the stage. Let's check it. What's the matter, Chick? Just checking passengers. All right, stranger, state your business. What do you aim to do in Sunset Valley? Were you talking to me? Why, I... Yes, ma'am, I reckon I was. Well? Well, I was just wondering why you decided to come to Sunset Valley. I mean, if you wouldn't mind telling us. Of course I wouldn't mind. I'm the new school teacher. I see. Well, may I go now? Oh, uh, mm, well, sure. It's all right, Ben. New school teacher. Sure you don't want to escort her in? That might not be a bad idea at that. We've been having a little trouble in the valley lately. Maybe I should come along with you. Hey, wait a minute. It's just a simple act of courtesy, Ben. Sunset Valley. It's beautiful. Yeah, especially where it hasn't been spoiled. Spoiled? Well, maybe I better not speak my mind. It's the homesteaders who'll be paying your salary. What of it? <laughs> well, ma'am, I'm a rancher. And sometimes the ranchers and the homesteaders don't quite see eye to eye. So I've heard. Just what is it you've heard, ma'am? That the ranchers are wild, lawless, and that they have no regard for the rights of other people. Excuse me, but where'd you get your information? From Jeff Seaton. Oh, I see. I'm not sure I like the way you say that. Jeff's a fine man. I wouldn't know. He happens to be a farmer. He also happens to be my brother. I'm Mary Seaton. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You needn't be. I like it. It's funny Jeff would let you come out here right now. I mean, with things the way they are. He didn't want me to come. For instance, Jeff told me all about a crazy young rancher named Chick Thompson. Is that so? He warned me that this young idiot thinks it's smart to ride into a peaceful little town like Seatonville and shoot up the place. Well, I never heard he killed anyone. Maybe he's just a very bad shot. No, I wouldn't say that. At any rate, he's a childish hooligan who should be taught better manners. Well, what do you know about that? My place is just over the rise. But I thought you were going into Seatonville to protect me. This is homesteaders territory. You'll be all right. What a pity. And I did so hope I'd have the chance to teach you those better manners I was speaking of, Mr. Thompson. You knew who I was all the time? 
Jeff described you very accurately. Besides that, your initials are on your belt. And your horse wears the brand of the lazy tea. Oh, please don't be angry. Miss Seaton, I'm really not as bad as your brother makes out. No one could be. I bet you'd like Jeff if you met him. Well, he must have some good points. Mr. Thompson, would you do me a very great favor? Anything at all. Maybe if you and Jeff could sit down together, try to see each other's point of view. A lot of these problems could be smoothed out. Jeff said the cattlemen always listen to you. Would you have dinner with us tonight, Mr. Thompson? With you and, and Jeff? I don't know. Please. All right. I'd be on it. Good. In the meantime, as the stagecoach rolled on toward Seatonville, the Lone Ranger, careful to avoid being seen, had made his way along the back streets of the town to the rear of the sheriff's office. I came to see my friend, Sheriff Wilson. Tom Wilson was never friends with an outlaw. I'm sure he wasn't. Then what? Wait a minute. Tom used to speak about a masked man that rode a white horse and carried silver bullets. So you're... Welcome to Seatonville, mister. I'm John Ross, deputy sheriff of this county. I'm glad to know you, deputy. Uh, where's Tom Wilson? Wilson's dead. Dead? He was ambushed about a month ago, shot in the back. Who did it? I'm not sure, but I can make a guess. You see, there's been trouble in the valley, mister. The ranchers against the homesteaders. Tom Wilson tried to be fair to both sides. The cattlemen didn't like that. You think the cattlemen were responsible for his murder, then? There's no proof. But as soon as Tom was dead, they called for a special election. They put up a man named Slim Gordon to run against me. Maybe you've heard of him. Yes, I have. He has a bad reputation in Texas. Where can I find Slim Gordon? Well, when he isn't hanging around town causing trouble, he's usually with Ben Chalmers out at the Lazy Tea. That's Chick Thompson's ranch. I'll ride out there with you if you want me to. That won't be necessary, Deputy. Isn't that Slim Gordon standing outside the stagecoach office? Yeah, that's Slim. The stagecoach must be due. Slim always likes to check and see if any homesteaders have sneaked past the guards. Who's the other man? That's Jeff Seaton. Owns the biggest farm around here. I hope that doesn't mean trouble. Here comes the stage. I'd better get out there. Mary, it's good to see you. How was the ride? The last part of it was very pleasant. Jeff, I'd like you to meet. Thompson. What are you doing here? Jeff. Don't you know who this man is? Oh, wait a minute, Seaton. You keep out of this. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Who do you think you're talking to, Seaton? I'll handle this, Slim. You'll handle nothing. Come on, Mary. But, Jeff, I invited Mr. Thompson for dinner tonight. To dinner? In my house? I'm sorry, Miss Seaton. We'll meet another time. Listen to me, Thompson. I'm giving you fair warning. If you even so much as try to speak to my sister again, I'll kill you. I mean that. You try, pal. And you'll be dead before you can pull the trigger. Stop it! Both of you! There'd be no killing in the valley while I'm in charge of keeping the peace. In another week, Ross, you won't be in charge of anything. Maybe so. But right now, I think you better clear out of town, Gordon. Why, you... He's right. Let's go, Slim. I'm sorry that this had to happen, Miss Seaton. Come on, Mary. My buckboard's across the way. Come on, Slim. What you learn, Kimisami? The situation in the valley may be worse than we thought, Tonto. What's Sheriff Wilson say? Tom Wilson's dead. He was dry gulched. They're holding a special election for sheriff next week. The cattlemen are backing Slim Gordon against the present deputy. Slim Gordon? We hear about him in Texas, him mixed up in cattle rustling. Yes. And if he's elected sheriff, he'll be in a position to follow those same practices here. But homesteaders outnumber cattlemen in Valley, Kimisabi. 
Them not vote for Slim Gordon. That's true. Gordon would be defeated if the homesteaders are allowed to go to the polls. What do you mean? Well, suppose a range war were started before they held the election. The homesteaders might be afraid to vote. And war means many deaths. It means more than that, Tonto. The West needs farmers as well as cattlemen. There's plenty of room for both. If they can't live in harmony with each other, that might set back the development of this territory for years. Now what we do, Kimisami? You'd better keep an eye on Slim Gordon. He's staying at the Lazy Tea Ranch with Chick Thompson. Already there's bad blood between Thompson and Jeff Seaton, one of the homesteaders. Gordon may try to force them to a showdown. He mustn't succeed, Tonto. Me understand, Kimisami. Sometimes I don't understand you at all, Chick. Never thought you'd run away from a fight. What I do is my business. The way Seaton was ordering you around, it sounded like... Forget it, Slim. I'm going out to look at that new shipment of cattle. Don't you want something to eat? Hi, Chick. What's the matter with him? I think maybe he tripped over a petticoat. Huh? Aren't you supposed to be on guard out at the pass? A couple of boys took over for me. Now, uh, what's all this about a petticoat? Then it uh, looks like we're in for trouble. Wait a minute. You ain't talking about that gal Chick rode into town with. I am, and she's no ordinary girl. She happens to be Jeff Seaton's sister. It was quite an argument when Jeff met the stage. He told Chick that he'd kill him if he ever saw the two of them together again. Well, Chick can take care of himself. He rode out of there like a whip pup. Told me later that the girl was bubbling over with the idea that the ranchers and the homesteaders ought to cooperate. Chick's the only thing that's holding the cattlemen together. If he gives in, you ain't got a chance of being elected. Right. Now look, Slim, I brought you up from Texas for just one reason. With you as sheriff, we can rustle a county blind. But if you're not elected... I know, I know, I'm, I'm thinking. Then somebody ought to take a shot at Jeff Seaton. Somebody ought to take a shot, all right, but not at Seaton. Why? A lot of people in town heard Jeff threaten to kill Chick. I wonder what would happen if Chick and Mary Seaton were found together dead. The ranchers around here would be ready for anything, to burn out the nesters, to lynch Jeff, and even to help me get elected. Yeah, but uh, Chick's been like my own son. We'll write Mary a note telling her to come out to Boot Hill Road, to that shack out there at sundown. We'll sign Chick's name to it. And then we'll send Chick the same kind of a note from Mary. When they ride up, we'll be waiting for them. Well. What do you think about it? All right. Count me in. You have right idea, Kimasabi. Slim Gordon plan range war. How? Him send note to Mary Seaton and Chick Thompson. Tell them to meet each other at old shack on Boot Hill Road. When Thompson and the girl ride up, Gordon and man named Ben shoot them. And Jeff Seaton will be blamed for the murders. Ah. When does this take place? At sundown, Kimisabi. How we stop them? The most important thing is to let Chick Thompson see what his so-called friends plan to do. Our only hope is to let Thompson see for himself just how they intend to rule the valley. We catch crooks and own trap? Exactly. Now, this is what I have in mind. First, we'll let Chalmers and Gordon deliver their notes. Then I'll get in touch with the deputy while you... Well, did you give Mary the message? She said she'd be there. She swallowed the bait as easy as Chick did. I wish we didn't have to do this. Grow up, Ben. You're a big boy now. Yeah. Well, should we start for the shack? You know, I've been thinking. A lot of people saw me hanging around when Jeff and Chick were arguing. Just so nobody gets any fancy ideas, I think I'm going to establish an alibi first. How? By sticking to the deputy until his job is over? You are? What about me? Use your head, Ben. One of us can handle this business. If I'm in the clear, the people will listen to me when I start talking against Jeff. Well, I guess you're right at that. Let's go. Slim. Ever see a horse like that around here before? I never seen a horse like that ever before. I did. This morning on the pass above the ridge. Faster than lightning. Whoever owns him must be in talking to Ross. I don't like this. Let's have a look. Those are terrible accusations, mister. We're dealing with desperate men. You said your Indian friend is out the lazy tea now. 
Tyler will stop Chick if he should try to leave for the shack before I'm able to talk to him. Then you aimed right out the shack with him. That's right. I want Chick to see for himself that Chalmers and Gordon have set an ambush for him. We'll come up on them from behind. What about the girl? Well, that's where I'll need your help. She'll trust a lawman. I'd suggest that you ride out to the Seton farm and tell her what Chalmers and Gordon have planned. Ask her not to leave the farm. Then you join us at the shack. I'll have Tonto send a riderless horse up the path as a decoy for Chalmers and Gordon. All right, mister. I'm with you. Good. Well, we're finished. What'll we do now? Who says we're finished? But if Ross gets to the girl... It's too late to back out now. But Ross has got a pass here to get to the Seton Ranch, and something tells me he's not gonna make it. Yeah, but even if he kills him, how will that keep Chick from... Uh... Look, the important thing is that the girl and Chick are found dead together. Now, what's to prevent you from going back to the Lazy T, shooting Chick, and bringing his body up to the shack after dark? That way, nobody will see you. What about the masked man? Take care of him, too. Well... Get going. I'll wait here for Ross, and then I'll go up to the shack myself. Ten minutes later, Deputy John Ross urged his horse along the road leading to the Seton farm. learned from Tonto that Chick Thompson had not yet left for Boot Hill Road. Oh, what the? Don't draw, Thompson. You, you know my name? I know quite a lot about you. Well, what do you want? What's the idea of the mask? Never mind the mask. I'm here to help you. Who says I need any help? You received a note signed by Mary Seaton, asking you to be at the old shack on Boot Hill Road, didn't you? Why, yes. Ben told me some Indian brought it while I was gone. Mary received the same kind of note signed with your name. I don't get this. Those notes were sent by Slim Gordon and Ben Chalmers. They hoped to kill you and Miss Seaton as you rode up to the shack. Then they'd spread the word that Jeff Seaton was responsible. In the range war that was to follow, they planned to get control of the valley. Well, you must be out of your mind. I almost wished he was myself. Don't move. Drop your guns, both of you. Ben. You're the one who killed Sheriff Wilson, aren't you, Chalmers? Me and Slim, yeah. Funny thing. First time you kill somebody, you get a little sick inside. Then you get used to it. Take Slim. Didn't bother him a bit to have to kill Ross. Ross is dead? If he's alive, mister, Slim is losing his aim. He was waiting for him at the bend of the road, about a mile before you get to the Seton farm. Well, then Miss Seton's... On her way to the shack, right. Ben, for the love of heaven. Sorry, Chick. Good work, Tonto. You wonder what keeps you so long, Kimisabi. Tonto, I want you to try and find John Ross. He may still be alive. Ah. You stay here and watch Chalmers. I'm going to the shack. Well, let me come with you. Somebody has to stay here and guard him. Oh, but if I... There's no time to argue. I must get to the shack before Mary does. At the same time, Mary Seaton unaware of the danger ahead, rode toward the shack where Slim Gordon waited like a toiled snake to strike the instant a horse turned the bend of Boot Hill Road.
on, Gordon. You're going back to town to stand trial for the murder of Tom Wilson. By nightfall, Ben Chalmers, hoping to win a jail term instead of hanging, had signed a full confession and had implicated Slim Gordon in the murder of Sheriff Wilson. Gordon, faced with this accusation, admitted his guilt the following morning. Well, those two are through causing trouble in Sunset Valley, thanks to you and Tonto, mister. I think Chick Thompson has something he wants to say, Deputy. I just want to tell you, Ross, that nobody will be causing any more trouble in Sunset Valley if the cattlemen have anything to say about it. We're in back of you for Sheriff 100%. And Jeff? Yes, Thompson? It seems to me it's about time I admitted I was wrong. From now on, I'm going to do everything I can to see that the homesteaders get a fair break in this valley. How about you, Jeff? Can you admit that you might have been wrong, too? About Chick? Well, I never did like family feuds. And it looks as if he just might become a member of the family. Jeff. <laughs> Come on, Tonto. You and I have work to do. Adios. Goodbye. 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 He's quite a man. I wish he'd stay in Seatonville. Oh, he'll be back if he's ever needed, Miss Seaton. Who is he, Ross? Don't you know, Chick? He's a lone ranger. Oh, Silver! Oh, 